Hi, welcome to Render Island. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create your image target demo with Easy AR. Image tracking is a technology that allows us to track and augment the real world based on a specific image, bringing static images to life with interactive 3D content. You start by going to the image target scene. For this, you have to go to Assets, Easy AR Scenes folder, and double click on the image target scene. It will load the image target scene. Then you can select AR Session Origin Game Object. It will show the AR Tracked Image Manager component there. This is a component which is responsible for managing tracking images and reference track image prefabs for each image library. A reference image library is a kind of library which stores our tracking images. You can add your preferred tracking images there and provide names for each image. First, I will show you how to create this reference image library. For that, you have to go to Assets, Easy Air, and click on the Library folder. Then, right-click on it and go to Create, scroll down, and you can see the XR option. Choose Reference Image Library here. It will create a new reference image library. I will name it New Reference Image Library. Once you click on New Reference Image Library, you can see this kind of window in the Inspector tab. First of all, you have to add your image to your reference image library. For that, click the Add Image button here. Now, you can select your reference image using this Select button here, or else you can get it from your project. I will now lock this window and go to Assets, Easy AR, go to Textures, and click on the Image Target folder. You can see that there is a texture called Target Image here. I will drag and drop this target image into this Texture 2D component and it will automatically use the name of my image, Target Image. You can change it to any name you want. Then I specify the real size of the image. Check this checkbox labeled Specify Size. Then you have to open up your image and you can see your image. It will cover up about half of my screen. So I will set the measurement here as 0 0.15. This value is in meters. Then I check the keep texture at runtime checkbox here. Now we have created our image library. I unlock my window and go back to my AR session origin and go to Library. I then drag and drop my new reference image library into the Serialized Library field. Then it will ask you for the maximum number of moving images you have. This is the maximum number of moving images to track in real time. Then you have to add your tracked image prefab. The prefab which is off after it has tracked your image. For that, you have to import your mesh into your Assets Easy AR Meshes folder. Inside the Image Target option, I have already imported my 3D content. It's a RI Humvee vehicle. I will drag and drop this mesh into my scene. You have to specify the size of your mesh. By default, it's 1 meter in width, height, and length. I reset those values to 0 0.3, which is 30 centimeters. Now, you have successfully scaled your mesh. Then, you can convert this mesh into a prefab. For that, you have to go to Easy AR, Prefabs, Image Target Folder, and drag and drop this RI Humvee vehicle into this image target folder. 
and I set it as the original prefab. I have already created my RI Humvee vehicle prefab there. So I delete it from here and from my folder. This is our prefab. You have to go to AR Session Origin again and drag and drop your prefab into Tracked Image Prefab Reference here. That's all you have to do. You can save your scene by going to File and clicking Save. Then, go to File and click on Build Settings. Make sure your image target scene is already in the Scenes in Build window. Then, you have to specify your target platform. In this case, I'm building for my Android device. So I select Android and switch it to Android. Then you can build the app. After you build the app, select Image Tracking on the menu and scan your image target. You're able to see your 3D model appear when tracking the target image. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.